Range and came out with their uh, Model 700 rifle 50 years ago. Uh, 2012 marks the 50th anniversary, and that's what we're looking at today. This is the 50th anniversary of Remington Model 700. The 700 was a, an improvement over the uh, previous rifles uh, that they'd had the bolt guns, which was very good. But anyway, the 700's been with us for many years now. I remember when I was a, a kid, I'd look at them in the rack, you know, but I couldn't, no way I could buy one. The, the first BDLs that came out was kind of flashy, it had some impressed checkering on it and just a real fancy looking rifle for a kid looking at it in the rifle rack but this BDL looks even better to me it's got some real nice wood on it and this is the uh, uh, their, all their 50th anniversary guns are chambered for the 7mm Remington Magnum which was introduced the same year uh, this particular rifle's got the, some engraving on the floor plate to commemorate that it is the uh, 50th anniversary rifle it's a, a special edition of some nice checkering on it. It's got a 24 inch barrel. Uh, it's got open sights on it with a hood on the front. I mounted this uh, loophole Boone and Crockett three and a half to ten scope on here which uh, really makes up well with this. Uh, this rifle also has got a nice recoil pad on it. Not painful to shoot. The uh, design of the stock and all handles the seven millimeter mag really well and it's uh, been shooting it quite a bit and it's proved to be just superbly accurate. A lot more accurate than I thought it would be with a sporter weight barrel and the uh, the barrel's not free floated on the Remington. They they got pressure here on the on the barrel, but it's shooting half inch groups with everything I've tried in it, except for one bullet I still hadn't uh, that I was doing some hand loading with. I hadn't got it worked out a, a load I'm uh, particularly in love with yet. But another bullet I want to talk to you about while we're doing this, if uh, you can zoom in on these here bolts, these are from uh, Cutting Edge Technologies, and there's some uh, machine turned bullets that have four driving bands on them. They're solid, homogenous bullets. You can load them uh, either direction. You can load them uh, with a huge hollow point forward to have you a, a good hollow point bullet, or you can turn it around and load it as a solid. If you don't want any expansion, deep penetration, nice uh, flat point on it loaded as a solid, or on the hollow point end, they got these little tips you can put in there to to give it a better ballistic coefficient for long range shooting. So it gives you three options on how to load that bullet. This bullet also has proved to be superbly accurate. I worked up a load using hogs and uh, hybrid 100 powder and it's uh, worked out great with this. Really pushes it out of there really well. Uh, although everything I've tried in it, like I said, shot really well. I was shooting uh, one uh, a low drag long bullet. It hadn't worked out the, the powder recipe for it yet to make it shoot like I want it to. But uh, anyway, the rifles proved itself to be very accurate. It's uh, from Remington, and they're available now uh, only for 2012 to commemorate the uh, anniversary of the Model 700 rifle.